is shown a presently clinical cardiac electrophysiologist, clinical cardiologist of Caremore Health in Downey, California, has done the Dad Lakewood area, but PIHA Health Good Samaritan Hospital in Los Angeles has done. تا اونجا که من یادمه گودسن میگه بهترین محل لوکیشن های کاردیالوژی و کاردیالوژی تریننگ سادن کالیفرنیا بودش. ایشون در ادوانس تریننگ این ایتریال فیبرلیشن، ابلیشن، دیویژن آف الکتروفیزیالوژی گود سمارتن هاسپیتال و میشناسم دوستمون رو دکتر دیوید کنام و دکتر شاویل که واقعا بهترین ها هستن ترین شدن. فلوشیپشون رو تو گود سمریتان و هاربر یو سی ال گرفتن و فلوشیپ دیگر کاردیو واسکولار مدیسین رو توی یونیورسیتی اف سادن کالیفرنیا دپارتمنت اف مدیسین اند پست گریجویت اسسل رزیدنسی ان جنرال مدیسین در یو اس سی دپارتمنت مدیسین انجام دادن پست گریجویتشون رو یک سال در کلیولند کلینیک هلت سیستم که اونم کاردیولوژیست خیلی ادوانس خوب هستش دپارتمان مدیسین و کلیبلند اوهایا بودن. ایشون از مدیکال سکول شهید بهشتی در ایران برای خود تحصیل شدن و آبیسی این امتحان های سخصختی که باید بدن رو قبول شدن وارد امریکا شدن و تریننگشون رو ادامه دادن. این بورد سرتیفیکیشن و انترنال مدیسین و دیپلومات این کاردیاک و کاردیو و اسکولار مدیسین هستن با ری سرتیفیکیشنش اند توی کارهای متفاوت الکتروفیزیولوژی سی تی انجیو اند یو نیم ات هر پروسیجری که نوکرال کاردیولوژی ایشون تجربه دارن درس خوندن امتحانش رو دادن بردش رو قبول شدن و در زم امریکن بورد آف نوکلور کاردیالوژی و دیپلومت آف امریکن سوسایتی آف نوکلور کاردیالوژی هستن. دیپلومت امریکن بورد آف مریکل سپیشلتی. امریکن بورد آف انترنال مدیسن هستن. و آبیسی لایسنس کالیفرنیا رو دارن. و یه جایی من خوندم که توی اون ECFMG یا USMLE نوود و نه درصد قبول شدن هفتاد و پنج که اگر می گرفتی پسینگ بود و دیگه نوود و نه درصد آموز من رو پرسند که سالا رو جواب دادن و اینا بعد از ملیکال سکورشون بوده and, um, توی مؤسس های متفاوت شک کار کردن تا اینه که الان توی کاردیاک یونیت دیرکتور کاردیاک یونیت um, دانی ایریا هاسپیتال هستن و پابلیکیشن های متعدد دارن در همون رشته کاردیالوژی اند یک کتاب رو نوشتن یک بوک چپتر رو نوشتن در کاردیالوژی اند منی ابسترکتس سو نه تنها تو کلینیکال کار زیاد کردن توی پابلیکیشن و اکادمیک هم جورنال های متفاوت آرتیکل و پوستر ابسترکت هاشون بوده و I'm just going و اینا تعدادش یکی دوتا نیستا من به همین ساده دیر میگم توی ریسرچ های متفاوت بودن توی یو اس سی and متفاوت کار کردن با پروفسور های معروف ایران اینجا و یک آخر آخرش رو بگم که از همه جالب تره پدر ایمان جان هستند و پیانو میزنن به شعر و ادبیات و عرفان ایران بسیار علاقه مند هستند and uh, very healthy exercise uh, swimming and basketball uh, دیگه um, that's about it ولی من فقط واقعا خلاصه کردم این ده سفر رو که شهید بهشتی فارغ تحصیل شدن بعد دوباره امریکا شدن توی یو اس سی کلیولند کلینیک و هاربر یو سی ال ترنینگ دیدن بردای متفاوت دارم اما امشب خیلی خوشحال هستیم و ما واقعا خیلی خوشحال که شما رو تونستیم داشته باشیم و راجع به چست پین صحبت بکنیم 
این پیشنهاد خود من بود برای که یک چست پین فقط کاردیک نیستش ما از 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 پیشنت از دکتر از پیشنت بعد اویر باشیم که فقط اگه ای کی جی نورماله دون گیو اپ اگه درد دارین هنوز باید دنبالش رفت خیلی ممنون دکتر مطلبی از اینکه که دعوت منو قبول کردید the floor is yours خواهش میکنم شروع کنیم خیلی ممنون خیلی ممنون your kind invitation من وقتی میگفتین میخواستم بپرسم این رزومه منه بله ده صفحه رزومتون من خلاصه کردم تو سرم امروز همینجوری گفتم خیلی ممنون من اگر میشه پس سکرینم رو شما شیر کنم خب سلام مجدد به همگی اساتید همکاران دوستان عزیز و خواهم بکر ممنون از شما به خاطر زحماتی که میکشید میدونم که ارگانیزیشن این خیلی کار داره و دوباره از همه دوستان تشکر میکنم که اینجا حضور دارن به خصوص از آقای دکتر وزیریان که هفته پیش همه گفتن ما ایران بودیم دکتر وزیریان رو نمیشناختیم ولی من دکتر وزیریان رو میشناختم مطمئن دانشگاه ملی که بودیم با دکتر پارسا که کار میکردیم چون از دکتر وزیریان ما گفته بودن تو رودبارم تو منطقه رودبار منجیل من من رئیس مرکز بهداشت رودبار منجیل بودم و اون کار پولیو ایرادیکیشن رو یک کچولوش هم ما انجام بودیم اوکی من موضوع صحبت رو خوام دکتر دستور دادم که چس پین کاردیک ان نان کاردیک من خودم اجازه خواستم که عنوان رو عوض کنم به چس پین دیفرنشیل دایگنوسیس وقتی داشتم به این فکر میکردم که راجع به چس پین من چس پین میخواستم صحبت بکنم دیدم واقعا این میشه شاید دو سوم تکست بوک هریسون برای اینکه با اینکه من کاردیولوژیست هستم ولی بیشتر از قبل از اینکه کاردیولوژیست باشم ما همین اینترنیست و اپروچ اینترنال مدیسین به هر سیمتومی من باید داشته باشم و یه مقداری آی هاو چالنج هیر برای اینکه audience is not just a, from medical background uh, more PhD during associate at Dr. Reiki to feel that DJ Farhita has done we have a high school student Iman uh, we have our Dr. Vazirian uh, as a mastermind but over in so bottom room on by a story arrange book on care have a bit on your battery as a show اگر I become too technical میتونید من بگید که is too technical یا اگر خیلی simple صحبت میکنم میبخشید اساتید ناپزشکایی که جور دارم ولی امیدوارم هر کسی در اندازه در دلیوری که از این صحبت یه بحری به برای سیاد بگیره خود من هم حتما یاد میگیرم Uh, what, uh, 7.6 million of emergency department visits annually in the United States is related to chest pain, which has a huge uh, socioeconomic burden as well. 7.6 million visit to emergency room. About 15 to 20 to 30 percent of these patient visit uh, visiting emergency room with chest pain, uh, they have unstable angina or heart attack. That's why it's the most important uh, differential diagnosis, but is not the only one. I get Rukhan Rajabe, Elale chest pain, uh, we just dive in from the surface of the chest and go down. Uh, we have bone structure, ribs, spine, uh, breast bone or sternum, all that can chest pain, cause chest pain. This cartilage between the ribs and the sternum specifically can cause costochondritis or inflammation and chest pain. Uh, muscles in the chest, intercostal muscles, uh, can be source of chest pain. Uh, intercostal nerve, nerve which is in the hand, but the more including neuralgia, neuritis, shingles, herpes zoster. Uh, ex extreme exercise can cause chest pain. 
breasts in females can cause chest pain and also in males. Uh, importantly, uh, breast cancer uh, is not a painful disease. So Hanuma, their breast pain assessment uh, should be less worried about cancer, but other causes like cystic disease, fibrocystic disease. Breast cancer at the end stage, when it gets close to the skin or with metastasis to the pleura or lung can cause chest pain. So as chest wall can be now dachel inside, then we have heart muscle or myocardium, which by ischemia or lack of oxygen can cause chest pain. There is a covering or yet she said or precardium with inflammation that can cause chest pain. Of course, lung and the fibrous sac or covering around it can be a source of chest pain. Thoracic aorta, aorta up here in the upper mediastinum can be a source of chest pain. Mediastinum is the, all the tissue that is located between sternum or breastbone at the front and the spine on the back. Anything in between, lymphoma, lymphadenitis, all that in the mediastinum can cause chest pain. I think we have to with chest pain. So what Jarvan, Michel Dosser, from textbook Harrison, it, I really meant it. This is all medicine that can present with chest pain. Esophagus from the GI tract, of course, is related, is, is located in the uh, chest, going down from pharynx to the, to the, below the diaphragm. That can cause chest pain with different, dif different pathologies. Reflux, esophagitis, esophageal spasm, uh, not cracker, esophagus, esophageal web, hiatal hernia. I'm going to talk about all of that. And then here, the moment you go below the diaphragm, immediately below the diaphragm, all the T organs that is there, stomach, duodenum, esophagus, we mentioned that, transverse colon here is located in the epigastrium, your balai shakam, pancreas, deep behind the stomach, gallbladder and liver, all of that can cause abdominal pain and also chest pain. Pathology under the diaphragm, there's a infarction spleen. Again, we mentioned about liver, subphrenic or subdiaphragmatic abscess, they all can cause chest pain. Of course, each of these have a different associated symptom. As chest wall, deep down to the chest, to the mediastinum and to the intra-abdominal uh, cavity, uh, it, was just a, it was just a brief introduction. Now let's go deeper inside and find out that, oh, before that, uh, we have other causes for chest pain, psychosocial, uh, sorry, psychological reasons, anxiety, panic disorder, uh, psychosomatic disorders, uh, illicit drug abuse, like cocaine, cocaine-induced vascular spasm, it can cause vascular spasm in the myocardium or even in intra-abdominal viscera. We mentioned about skin and nerves, like neuralgia, such as herpes zoster, shingles, can cause chest pain, particularly two to three days before classic uh, rash appears. At that time, diagnosis after rash is easy, before rash is difficult. Uh, and collagen vascular disorders, including inflammatory causes, autoimmune disorders, like inf uh, inflammation of vessels, vasculitis, great vessels like Takayasu disease, smaller vessels, polyarthritis nodosa, lupus, sarcoidosis, they all can cause chest pain. And different mechanism for referred pain, which I'm going to briefly talk about all of them. Acute chest pain by emergency room, Morajan Mikone. Our emergency room doctor in order to rule out life-threatening conditions. Herpes zoster will not going to kill you 
or esophagitis is not going to kill you. But these are the reasons that is potentially a killer. Myocardial infarction or heart attack, unstable angina, aortic dissection, pulmonary embolism or like blood clot in the lung, pneumothorax, precardial tamponade, is the fragile rupture and mediastinitis and abdominal visceral perforation, like stomach perforation. So take a look at all of these. These are diseases that need to be identified, diagnosed within one hour and intervene upon, otherwise they, they can kill. So now, since I use medical terminologies and we have non-medical experts, I'm gonna briefly talk about each of them. So my body infarction and unstable angina, Remember this picture. People who have myocardial ischemia, very commonly, they put their, their hand on the chest exactly like that. Then if someone enter the room with that, that's a high degree of suspicion about the myocardial ischemia. And as you can see here, there is a clot in left anterior descending artery and this area of the, that the, you have a heart attack or myocardial infarction. So that's MI. What is aortic dissection? Aortic dissection usually occurs in uh, people in 60s and 70s. People have usually history of uncontrolled high blood pressure. And suddenly that person feel, feel a tearing or ripping chest pain or a pain between two scapula or between shoulder bones on the back with radiation to neck or lower back. And what is the pathophysiology behind it? Because of high blood pressure, there is a sudden tear in intima or inner layer of the aorta and blood goes inside the vessel and can expand like a tearing, like a lebosige, shoma, as ostar mitunit nazarat from terminology. all the way down. This is the exact pathology that happens in the aortic dissection. We have different form, class one, class A, B, C, and this condition is potentially uh, a killer. It needs to be diagnosed. Blood pressure needs to be controlled. Many of them need to go to operating room. So that can cause acute chest pain or acute back pain, which patient explained that I felt something to chest your back with a heart issue. This is exactly, the aorta, the inner layer of the aorta is the parachute. So that was aortic dissection. So we talk about MI, this, we talk about aortic dissection briefly. What is pulmonary embolism? People with the history of immobilization, must uh, leg bone fracture or lung, airplane flight, like six hours, seven hours on a plane, the next day, they suddenly develop chest pain or shortness of breath. The problem is that this prolonged immobilization or other condition that uh, predispose us to uh, clot formation, we make a clot in the deep veins in the lower extremity or legs on the pelvis, and that uh, blood clot travels going up to the right side of the heart, from right side of the heart to pulmonary artery, and this blood clot goes to the lung and blocks the pulmonary artery. Patient present with acute, sudden shortness of breath and a chest pain, which is more pleuritic. The patient, this chest pain is more sharply defined on the chest wall. And Maria's mamulan nige vakti ke nafas nikesham dardam bishtar nishe. I have more chest pain when I when I deep when I have a deep inspiration or when I when I breathe in. In change the pain by inspiration how, is not seen by myocardial infarction or unstable angina. I talk about this more. Since we talk about the conditions that uh, can predispose to clot formation in the leg, let's talk about them. We talk about immobility or venous stasis, leg fracture, lung flight. Other condition is a vascular, vascular injury, endothelial injury, that surgical operation, trauma to the vessels. 
Other conditions is inherited hypercoagulable status. Hypercoagulable meaning condition like badan has a tendency to form clot. There are different factor deficiency, factor C, factor S, anti-thrombin anti, uh, 3, which I don't want to bore you with all these condition. They are acquired hypercoagulable status, such as pregnancy, economic OCP, estrogen, progesterone, estifadim, and Vabazi has been more high collagen vascular disease, Masa, systemic lupus. They have a tendency to make clot and having deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. So we talk about MI, myocardial ischemia, aortic dissection, and blood clot in the pulmonary artery. What is the next condition that is potentially a killer? Pneumothorax. Look at this chest X-ray. This is a normal lung. Long markings go all the way from the heart to the periphery. But what about here? You mean it check out in just clear the lung in just collapse. This is a condition that suddenly, either from penetrating trauma from outside or spontaneously, ye bleb, ye hobabi, dar hoda lung, mitereke, va air comes out of the lung and goes to the Prural space, space is usually sacic around the lung gas, but normally the rest air needs. is a small amount of fluid around that. By their air suddenly water in the shell, patient uh, report me because suddenly I had a chest pain and a sharp stabbing chest pain. I mean, it, stabbing chest pain is important. Myocardial ischemia, heart attack, does not have a stabbing pain. Aortic dissection, is not. Stabbing chest pain is seen by pneumothorax. But suddenly, Maris is a short of breath. And if it's not diagnosed uh, properly, this can expand and put pressure on the other lung and press the whole mediastinal and shift the mediastinum it can uh, prevent Bukone from venous return to the heart and to the thorax, because now instead of having negative pressure in the, in the thorax, we have positive pressure and it can cause collapse and death. All of these conditions I'm talking about, as I said, within an hour can kill. So that's why I'm talking about them. That Avalisulbatamch is, is more important. Another entity. Uh, Potentially killer, precordial tamponade. Again, ma dure kalp ham yek sac do yek kisei darin. Ke normally, darish about 10 to 15 cc fluid has. Ke hund fagat dure kalp ul lubricate mikone, ke kalp betone ke harikat mikone. If you have a lot of fluid accumulation there or heart perforation or due to penetrating trauma, sometimes due to metastases from breast and lung cancer to the precardium. Suddenly you have bleeding inside that. And because of this fluid accumulation, heart become under, under pressure. Then the right ventricle cannot be filled. A patient can present with chest pain, shortness of breath, very low blood pressure, and shock state, sweating, and distended neck veins. Rag hoy gardan distended has. Chara, the hotterinke, venous return from superior vena cava, inferior vena cava cannot go back to the heart because there are a lot of pressure in the precardial space. Again, this condition will not kill in one hour. This condition will kill in five minutes. Treatment is in a jama, yet Susani, man, I'm sure my mistake. Yes, Susani rest. از زیر استرنوم باید وارد پریکاردیو سپیس بکنیم و این خون رو درین بکنیم. I had to do, do this two days ago in one of my procedures. I caused a heart perforation and uh, patient had tampon out within five minutes and we did a, that pericardio synthesis and we saved the patient. Of course, another entity is a perforation. 
which the medical term is a Boerhaave syndrome. مریض هایی هستند که with vigorous vomiting بعضی وقتا خانوم های باردار بعضی از افرادی که بولیمیا نروزا دارن و vomiting رو induce می کنن suddenly they have a tearing pain in the chest and that is caused by esophageal perforation that patient again has chest pain, shortness of breath, fever, mediastinitis, sharp state this condition is 100% fatal if it is not diagnosed and properly, patient needs to go to operating room with a, a cardiothoracic surgeon to repair the esophagus. Of course, all these entities that we mentioned, like myocardial infarction, is very common. Uh, pulmonary embolism is common. Aortic dissection and esophageal spasm is rare, but still, as a physician, you need to know them all because you cannot say, oh, I miss it because that is a rare, is a rare condition. Then a family gonna lose a, a mother or father just because you don't know the rare entity. So what is our challenge in clinical uh, practice is that very commonly thoracic disease like ischemia of the heart, particularly inferior aspect of the heart can present with abdominal pain. Any marries heart attack, the rare mutant be out the emergency room by abdominal pain that gastrointestinal abdominal diseases like gastritis, pancreatitis, gall gallbladder, cholecystitis can present the chest pain. My reason between the beyond what chest pain, a moshtelish is in the abdomen, and my reason between the beyond abdominal pain, the moshtelish is in the thorax, Mr. pulmonary embolism or, 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 or heart attack. That's why as a physician, these are all comes to the art of medicine not just knowledge or science of medicine. So, Mohemtarin, Mohemtarin, truly diagnosis tarim is not the EKG or uh, uh, echocardiogram or angiogram, it is clinical history that characteristic on pain ke shoma as that history as Maris Midirit. By the way, خانم دکتر من نزدیک 75 تا اسلاید دارم هر وقت که وقت من تمومه شما منو استاپ کنید من معمولا همینجوری مثل رود خروشان میام تا من یکی استاپ کنه من معمولا اسلاید آی میک مور اسلاید دن وی مور اسلاید دن مای تایم سو هر جور مای تایم سو همون خیلی خوبه بسیار من اصلا فکر نمی کردم این همه دیفرنشیال دایگنوستیس داشته باشید. ولی خواهش می‌کنم ادامه بدین هر وقت موقع شد. بله. Uh, so as an example onset of pain the pain that is abrupt versus gradual that's a different differential diagnosis. Timing is a condition aortic dissection only happens once but stable angina happens recurrently every day when the patient walks. Is it recurrent? Duration-ish, Usually a stable angina lasts between three to five minutes. And when you have a heart attack, you get three to five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and never subsides. Site of pain, where is the pain? Is it substernal behind the sternum? Is it lateral to the chest wall? Is it back? Is it diffuse? Is it localized? Is it well-defined or ill-defined? Is it mamulan condition IJ is related to skin or ribs or nerve? Maris miyad miyad ki ye area ye exactly one by one centimeter. Each one area one by one centimeter will not be myocardial ischemia. Myocardial ischemia is diffuse. Maris miyad ki dasta shum izara rui sinash miyad ki area is diffuse. چه اکتیویتی هایی پروووک ان اگریویت میکنه و چه اکتیویتی هایی اور چه چیزایی پین رو الیویت اور ایز میکنه اف کورس اکسرسایز اینکریز دی مایوکاردیل اسکیمیا ان انجینا ریست ویل ایز دت ایز دیر سرتن پوزیشن دت میک یو فیل بیتر مایوکاردیل اسکیمیا اور هارت اتاک با هر پوزیشنی درد داره اما پریکاردایتیس وقتی مریض میشینه اند لینز فوروارد این دردش بهتر میشه Of course, you know that if the 
abdominal pain or chest pain in a supine position, it, uh, it suggests it like pancreatitis or cholecystitis. So pass position, which is I can aggravate a better mikone, is a very important tool to make a diagnosis. Quality of pain, pressure like, like angina, sharp pain, like pneumothorax, like uh, plural space to transmission, stabbing, tearing pain, like aortic dissection. Tamam now is you cannot get any of these. I got Maria's national so bad to it. Even if it's two minutes in the emergency room, you still need to get that information. Radiation, uh, radiation to shoulder, very commonly cholecystitis or gallbladder or liver problem in the right upper quadrant or chest wall radiates to the shoulder. Of course, myocardial ischemia to the shoulder, precardial to the shoulder. Back, we talk about aorta. Jaw, teeth, ear uh, is very commonly associated with heart attack or unstable angina. I'm gonna talk about reason and mechanism of all these referred pain if I have time. What are the other important uh, factors in history taking? What are the comorbidities or other risk factors? Of course, high blood pressure, smoking, diabetes, uh, family history of heart attack, cholesterol problem, peripheral vascular disease, all of that will point to myocardial ischemia and coronary artery disease. Connective tissue disease, pregnancy, pregnancy, we have an entity with pregnancy, and that is coronary artery dissection. Again, Hanuma Hamileiba, the pregnant and BO2 emergency room, but chest pain has a different differential diagnosis. Again, we talk about recent immobilization, long plane ride, uh, leg fracture, trauma, and other factors, smoking, cocaine use, age, uh, all of that uh, will come into picture. So, Bazi pain ha, aval start at a milder inten intensity that over a few minutes increase or accelerate or but there are three entities that the, at the onset, it is a maximum intensity. That onset is pain And that is aortic dissection. We talk about that. Pulmonary embolism. We talk about that blood clot to the lung. And pneumothorax. Unconditionate lung bleb paremisha the air mirror to the pruros. You know, as someone aval dardition is maximum. But is this the case for myocardial ischemia or coronary artery disease? No. Actually, coronary artery disease, again, look at this classic picture related to blockage in the coronary arteries. Un coronary artery disease or car cardiac ischemia usually start at the lower intensity and few minutes get worse. What is the term angina pectoris? Angina is a from Latin word, means uh, uh, Latin root, angre, and angre means strangle or choking, and pectoris, of course, chest, chest. So as you can see, angina pectoris is not classically a pain, is a feeling of choking or, or, or strangling, or patient commonly says, and God, can you feel an elephant was sitting on my chest? That's very commonly we hear that with heart attack, but it can, it be described as a pain, pressure, choking sensation, suffocation, discomfort, tightness, shortness of breath. Sometimes with heart attack, some patient says that was the worst pain that I experienced in my life. These words are all important. Marisic gastroesophageal reflux study will not tell you that pain was the worst pain that I had in my life. That word is very important. Associated symptoms with ischemia or, my, or, or angina, shortness of breath, nausea, vomiting, particularly agar inferior aspect of the heart is involved, diaphoresis, altered mental status, and fatigue. Again, a little bit of epidemiology, coronary artery disease remains the leading cause of death in the Western world and developed country. 
20 day case mortality of an acute coronary syndrome, even in the current era, with all these angioplasty and PCI is still 10%, one of the 10 people will die within a month after a heart attack because of the complications of heart attack. As I said, about 30% of people visiting emergency room, the chest pain, they have myocardial infarction or, or unstable angina. Risk factor for coronary artery disease, age above 55, male sex. For female, is more than 65 because female are protected uh, till menopause by estrogen. Family history, positive family history, diabetes, tobacco use, hypercholesterolemia or increased cholesterol, and hypertension. Each of these is a separate lecture, just risk factor of CADs. You are just mentioning this as a tool to approach to diagnosis of chest. So again, angina pectoris or myocardial ischemia, the chest discomfort that is caused by ischemia. And what does ischemia mean? Ischemia means a deficiency or insufficiency of tissue oxygen of the myocardium. And myocardium means the heart muscle. Uh, we said that with stable angina, exercise or physical activity elicit or cause or trigger the chest pain. But why? Physical activity increase heart rate and systolic blood pressure. Heart rate times systolic blood pressure or zarabon gal, zad var systolic blood pressure or, or higher number is a byproduct that defines myocardial oxygen demand. So that your heart rate va blood pressure ball over here. This will increase the demand of oxygen by heart muscle. But when you have coronary artery disease, Darid, there is a limited supply which cannot meet the demand. Therefore, you will have chest pain. Dr. Nawab, myocardial cells, they only use fatty acids as a fuel, as bone sucht, as glucose, but ketone body in a normal condition. And fatty acids are metabolized in mitochondria through a process called beta oxidation, which is very oxygen dependent and only aerobic. Myocardial cells, anaerobic metabolism, anaerobic metabolism and That's why we have cellular but we have a lot of myocardial ischemia, myocardial infarction, unstable angina, coronary artery disease. I got as a anaerobic, any sucht that be have as it as the wash of a pyrovitro, tabgible lactic acid, but on a muscle or the That's why we need to know why myocardial cell is so prone to ischemia. The same condition exists for the brain, but in that brain, Brain cannot use fatty acid, only can, can use glucose and ketone body, which, which comes to the picture, uh, the setting of a stroke. So a little bit of biochemistry of uh, myocardial cells. Let's go to the next slide. So what are the common myocardial ischemia syndromes? The first one is a stable angina. What is a stable angina? Coronary is like 80% uh, tank should in as for him yet, Virun Ramire that never at all, Masalan, five, six blocks, Ramire. Vaktike, Mira said a certain threshold of heart rate and blood pressure, then because the demand cannot be met by coronary artery uh, uh, flow, they develop angina. By Maris, in pain is predictable. Harborke. That does a person's three flight of stairs, but a ball or your robbery, Gardish me. That's why it's stable. Any in syndrome, our bar in Koran, John Bede, a robbery, barmiger. In Maris necessarily is not at the risk of death. Bor rest, painish as brain mirror, or sublingual nitroglycerin, painish as brain mirror. But now, what is acute coronary syndrome? 
acute coronary syndrome is not stable anymore. Un marizie ke ya at rest or with the limited physical activity. Any marizie ke be shoma mige man maamulan mitunastam bistay gara beram ta chest pain begiram. Hala mige sidey gara raftam ya tu khone az ashpas khone raftam ta gas shuyu bargashtam dard beram. In dige is either unstable angina or heart attack, myocardial infarction. The myocardial infarction on electrocardiogram will never occur, but do go through toxin mission. ST elevation myocardial infarction and non ST elevation myocardial infarction. I will show you the slide. I'm on the ST elevation. It means that the whole thickness of the heart cell is at the risk of injury and death. I'm on non ST elevation, only partial thickness. Uh, as well as the charm necrosis for cell death should. Again, stable angina occurs with physical activity or other provoking factor that, in, it, that create a physiologic condition and oxygen demand is higher than oxygen supply due to the in Uruk, maybe it, but in atherosclerosis block should it. Therefore, there is a limited blood supply. Makti Shoma Bishas and does a physical activity of putting char flight stairs or bishtarat bistega robbery, for example, dart va un pressure miot. Again, it's predictable. Maris mige har bar, masalan, I walk six blocks that is reproducible. That's why, again, it's stable. Couple of points for physicians and also for general audience. Angina is never a pain that is sharply defined like Megan, can does a dime or quarter on my chest? That's never angina. Angina pain never has tenderness. Any shama gar dast bezarin ro kas ro ye kafasay sine feshar bedi va bege aw aw. Barenke is deeply seated in the middle of the chest and the heart. Angina pain is never position dependent. Be khabi ro beri malak bezani al kari bokoni pain is there. Angina pain is never pleuritic. مریض هیچ وقت شما نمیگه که وقتی که نفس عمیق میکشم دردم بیشتر میشه is independent of breathing or position so these are important pearls for both physicians and for each of us اگر چست پین داشته باشیم که بدونیم چجوری we get a clue is it angina or not حالا که راجب Stable angina somat yarim. What is acute coronary syndrome? Acute coronary syndrome is vakti yeke un atherosclerotic plaque ya un atherosclerosis ke stable has un superficial layerish rupture mishe injured mishe va un collagen va lipidi ke zirish has exposed mishe the blood va in activate mikone platelets ro و پلاکت ها به اونجا ادهیژن پیدا میکنن after ادهیژن they activate و پلاکت ها به پلاکت های دیگه میگن شما بیان اینجا جمع بشین بهش میگن aggregation so ادهیژن activation aggregation and همین جاست که aspirin با بلاک کردن فانکشن پلاکت ها از heart attack یا از extension اون clot جلوگیری ممکنه بکنه then وقتی که شما ادهیژن پلاکت ها رو دارین در واقع اونجا ترامبوس یا لخته یا کلات درست میشه و این بلاد فلو رو اگر قبلا 70% اوکلودد بود اون وسل حالا میشه 90% 95% or 100% و دیپنز آن که چقدر اوکلود بشه و شما اینو ریورسش بکنی یا نکنی you can have reversible cell death sorry reversible injury which is unstable angina or irreversible cell death, which is a heart attack or myocardial infarction. In this case, I would like to say unstable angina, when it has been clear, but it has not included the vessel, like 90%. But this is a disease that you say that I can go to the next day to the next day to the next day to the next day, طبقه بالا اومدم پایین تا قلبم درد گرفت 
that is not predictable. That is not what was predicted or reproducible. This patient needs to go to cath lab immediately. That is not something to be speaking to. Hello, yes, I looks before your aluminum MJ, stomach it. In my ECH is going to die. So that's why I'm Bush injury emphasized with that. That myocardial infarction usually occurs at rest. Early morning pain between four to six o'clock is very bad. Is that usually time make it, we have a high catecholamine adrenergic drive because of many reasons, high blood pressure or, or, uh, or sleep apnea. But in high catecholamine search, we have a high blood pressure on uh, intimaya on atheromamitune all surface va pain plus pain I got from a bene chart of shoot soap. Chart I have to soap. But chest pain has hobby dot shooting, that's heart attack. Go to emergency room. That's not your stomach. Again, ST elevation is when it's full thickness. Non-ST elevation is partial thickness. Va in jaw, tava ju tuna jab konamba like Iman. In just Iman, look here. This is a full thickness heart attack. And full thickness heart attack will cause this ST segment elevation. You see, this is an electrocardiogram. That's bad. The full thickness of the heart is dead. But to get this ST depression or non ST elevation, in fact, this thickness as heart, the char cell death should it. Why? Because coronary arteries are located here in the epicardium. The in vessels, they go deep inside the blood supply or breast and ninja. And our inactive blood supply to coronary artery is not completely occluded, but 90% area is vulnerable to ischemia is subendocardium or what is closest to the heart cavity and is furthest that do tare as downstream of coronary arteries. So did it make sense? I'm not talking about you know. <laughs> yeah, so that's the difference between the full thickness that, of course, risk of heart failure or death later to kudemic as an abishtare, no brainer. You lose more myocardial cell, full thickness is, is, is worse. That patient will develop congestive heart failure, ventricular tachycardia, uh, sudden cardiac death. So let's move on. Again, briefly, stable angina, recurrent and predictable level of physical activity, dard, ijad mishe, balamire, vagakam mishe, expected between two to five minutes. Amma, unstable angina, it's severe, new onset, crescendo, ijad mishe, vagad mishtar mishe, kamtar ne mishe. At lower, lower, unexpected level of exercise or activity or at rest. But Mamulan, practically chest pain, as five minutes to 10 minutes, which that should, the guy is not a stable angina. It's unstable angina or myocardial infarction, heart attack. You need to call 911. In Unchizi explain, Karam, this is a normal blood vessel. This is beginning of atheroma which involved with monocytes or macrophages come to the wall in cellular machine foam cell, okay, they are macrophages or monocytes that they are fully loaded by lipids, by cholesterol. We have hyperplasia of the smooth muscle as well as, as, well as medial vessel. And that is called basically atheroma. At the beginning is fatty streak and then fibrous cap. In general, negacony, what you fibrous cap injured bishop in underneath exposed bishop the blood vessel, that's where you develop clot. And if this is a cause of unstable angina or heart attack. Again, here you see stable angina, you only have a blockage of the like 70%. In Marys, uh, but then you have an ulceration and clot formation. You can have unstable angina. If still a little bit of flow is there, as you can see, troponin or uh, 
انزایمی که از ازاله قلب ریلیز میشه موقع دف still is normal in unstable angina اما will be elevated when you have heart attack and heart attack is usually when you have a total occlusion or near total occlusion if it's total total occlusion you will have ST elevation if it's 98% occlusion you will have subendocardial infarction and ST depression or chief wave inversion Another important entity, again, Dr. Nawab Mukunam will, has done a lot of research, actually was one of the pioneers who defined this condition, that the in job in coronary artery is like 50% occluded. This coronary artery is only 20 to 30% occluded. The domain of trauma in job was doctored. Proste? Amma, this has a little bit of fat and a thick collagen or fibrotic cap on top of it. In atherosclerosis is less vulnerable to in fibrous capus injured machine that in lipid berries of virun and cause acute heart attack. Amma this has a lot of lipid and a little bit of cap. That's why this is vulnerable plaque. Vulnerable plaque. In Joshua Moist, you know, is 30%. I'm not, this patient is more at risk of heart attack than this one. I'm sorry. Than this one. What are the, what, one of the things that statins like Lipitor does is that they reduce amount of this lipid and will stabilize atherosclerotic plaque. So statins that we use for is not just to reduce cholesterol, it changed the composition of atheroma or atherosclerosis as well. Next slide. So now, you know, it were common, common presentation of myocardial ischemia. We have uncommon presentation of myocardial ischemia too. For example, variant or prismatal angina, which is purely related to coronary spasm, and he, there is no atherosclerosis, it's just a spasm. Microvasculature angina. This entity is purely related to females, uh, around age of 40 to 60. And these are the people that they have uh, a typical presentation of, 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 of angina. And that's why, because Mesle to Yeriazi va algebra che chizi baraima unknown misery mesh begin X. This was defined first as a syndrome X, but later it changed the name as microvasculature angina. There is another angina is is a demand angina just because azolei kal keli zakhim va kolof chode at the setting of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy or aortic stenosis. But un ischemia dare, not, not because there is a coronary artery disease. Coronary artery disease, coronary artery, parar bude be yet kalbi ke 1.5 centimeter thickness dare khun bede. Hala in shode 3.5. Banabari nun eiriai ke is further or furthest from coronary artery is at risk of ischemia and anxiety. With normal coronary artery. So what are the what is the syndrome X? They have atypical symptoms. In Hanuma, they have prolonged symptoms, prolonged chest pain at rest, not even with exercise. They have a lot of fatigue, shortness of breath, more frequent symptoms. In one day, they might have 15 times of a chest pain. They can have abdominal pain, they have shoulder pain. And these are all atypical features that we seen in this uh, uh, female population. That is interesting. Dr. Shaman nuclear or exercise test niponid, un is positive, indicating that you have coronary artery disease. Amma vakti ke angiogram and jom midin, angiogram mission is normal. So again, another dilemma. So where is the problem? The problem is in these small vessels that goes from epicardial coronary artery disease deep into the myocardium. 
it is related to coronary artery uh, risk factors, inflammation, oxidative stress. These people have higher autonomic or sympathetic overdrive, insulin resistance, abdominal obesity. They have, they have abnormal, uh, not necessarily diabetes, but their hemoglobin A1C, instead of being six, is 5.7. And they have estrogen deficiency. Uh, in they have polycystic uh, ovary syndrome, hypoestrogenemia, menopause, or early menopause, or premature menopause, to coronary artery shown, they, they is not entirely normal. They have that, like a small, like twenty percent atheroma, but nuclear scan is shown is very abnormal. And of course, other factors like hypertension, smoking, metabolic uh, uh, problem, and inflammation. So this is syndrome X, purely or very commonly uh, in female. Chejuri darmanish Of course, you don't you don't put a stent. But in nitrates, aspirin, statins, and other medication is called Renexa or Renalazine, which decrease the oxygen demand for the myocardium can be uh, utilized by in syndrome X or uh, microvasculature and gynaikid or homobiotic. Where are the location of even a typical angina? Look at this slide. I think it just speaks for itself, right? You can have it diffusely under the sternum, exactly at the location to show what cravat is on it, or tie, as in pain, as balay mede, biat, kafase sine dore garda. You can have it in the substernum and left shoulder, right shoulder. You can have it just on the, on the epigastrium over your stomach. You can have it on the inner aspect of the arms. You can have it just as a choking sensation in the neck or in the jaw, your dandun, your from many patients says from ear to ear, yani as in gush, taung gush, including the jaw. Va, just left shoulder, right shoulder, but also interscapula. Bene dota osteochoniket, valiket. Hello? Yes, I We talk about why, because I love, I don't like medical students and like Iman and you know everybody. They always, medicine is interesting when you ask, when you ask why, not just, just how many to ask, it is what it is. What are the reasons that in pain or more in joy, Muhtadef has me going in. I believe is an ish. Manoloja, conductor was a young just on the neurologist as long as she would turn on and comment with them. Yeah, man, a correct corner. Shared spinal cord dermatomes from different viscera, afferent, ya hamun, no susceptive, no susceptive is a term that you like to. You want to know? No susceptive. Any uh, fiber high chip pain, you feel me, Conan? Chad, baray, kalb, stomach. These are not part of somatic. They go in the sympathetic and parasympathetic as a no susceptive. They are uh, either C fibers, which are not myelinated, or A delta, which are myelinated. In Amiran, but to spinal cord, as ahshay muqtalif, beyek level khat mishan. That's why. You can have a pain to a, for a pancreas with it, to chest feel beshe ya dar kalp with it, to a infra diaphragmatic. Bad as own, there is a term is called spinal thalamic tract convergence. Bad as a spinal level, bad ya aktike you know that spinal thalamic tract as a spinal cord mi kamberam be thalamus they merge and they converge. Well, I say in referred pain omission. Then from thalamus to parietal cortex, cortex max, thalamocortical tract convergence. 
Another entity is very important and is interesting. Some of the referred pain is the reason is that they have a common embryologic origin. Now, example, maybe it heart dermatomosh is from T2 to T5. And on the same level, T1 and T2 is that in a innermost aspect of the arm, particularly near the shoulder or axilla. That's why very commonly because of this T2 and a convergence of T1, the dust chap because inner aspect of dust chap or ulnar aspect, not the radial, the anguish kuchikam That's one. Here is talking about, please look at this slide, how in spinal spinothalamic tract, you can get different input, which all of them, they go from posterior horn, of course, and they cross. Vainjai Niki Kichero, myocardial ischemia can cause shoulder pain, arm pain, neck pain. Neck and orofacial pain is not because of spinal cord or sympathetic. Balche un behatere no susceptive ya un axon high pain che ba vagus nerve asab da mire va mire sab haste asab da ke is the uh nocus tractus uh, solitarius after that at the upper spinal cord or brain stem after crossing in just a convergence phenomenon about trigeminal asabitrigeminal which particularly comes from like a mandible teeth jaw as in gush to gush so convergence asab vod vagus nerve asab da as tal va trigeminal nerve is a cause of tooth pain tooth ache jaw pain ya in dardi ke marizo migan as in gush to gush and angina can present this kind of orofacial pain another important entity again conductor as you know khushish i guess there is another entity gastrocardiac afferent convergence in convergence ke as stomach that heart in, in upper thoracic spinal neuron in sympathetic in is a central mechanism the central pathophysiology behind postprandial angina pectoris all of the farsi khodamun chi mishe in a large meal is one of the classic trigger for angina chara marizay ki khayli mikhoran this is because of that convergence ke stomach input dare ruy afferent or sympathetic bar migarde va qalb va baes actually coronary spasm mish parabari inje nigah konin chat dobare az art medicine shoma marizi miyad mige man chest pain dashtam or abdominal pain after drinking or large meal eating chia to zehnetun baad bia avvalish obviously is is a physical spasm reflux esophagus right is drinking eating right Second, agar yemerdari begzare the delay is a gastric problem or pancreatic problem like chronic pancreatitis. Agar un gaza is a high in lipid, heavy fatty washing. You think about gallbladder, like chronic cholecystitis and gallstone. Amma khode angina pectoris am mitune bashe. We just talk about it. Gastrocardiac afferent and is a postprandial angina. Any marriage mumkin aslan. خیلی هم میگن آقا بله شما قضا زیاد خوردین اگر چیز داشتی این محال قلبت باشه این حتما is related to GI tract no it, it can be actually angina pectoris و اگر دو ساعت بعد سه ساعت بعد باشه بعد از خوردن is actually angina of the small and large intestine due to mesenteric ischemia با همونجوری که میتونیم coronary artery disease داشته باشیم peripheral artery disease داشته باشیم celiac tract the superior mesenteric artery and inferior mesenteric artery am mitune uh mitune obstructed beshe mitune tang bashe and that will cause angina ke angina kojas is in small and large intestine 
of course, you know that the most vulnerable site is a splenic fracture of the colon. But in pain, occurs two to three hours after eating. But I'm in time eating, the pain is very important. Okay, it's right away after, half an hour after, or three hours after. And again, in, that includes all the differential diagnosis, including GI tract and angina. Ma baraye diagnosis of coronary artery disease, check two lives as a cardiologist or internal medicine. I think I talk a lot about uh, history taking. Physical exam. Marizike on angina your heart attack very is sick looking. It looks sick. Blood pressure is low, heart rate is up, uh, is sweating. It might have murmur because of uh, mitral regurgitation. It will have long crackle on examination of the lung. Of course, you know, it's for physicians. And we have a stress test. Of course, a stress test is not very unstable angina or heart attack. Marizika heart attack, the rarikinims are betrayed me. Marizika unstable angina or we suspect heart attack will immediately go to cardiac cath lab, angiogram and angioplasty. Marizika stable angina, the RAN, which you need to exercise test, pharmacologic stress test, nuclear scan, but we need to check. Uh, other form of imaging, echocardiogram, cardiac CT scan, calcium score, MRI, by cardiac catheterization. I talk about electrocardiogram. Uh, electrocardiogram, uh, 12 lead or 12 vector. Okay, if you will, harkudum as in 12 vector, as this matoy muktalefa kal axmi. I'm not sure if you're going to it. In your axis, this is lead one, this is lead two, this is lead three, this is lead two. So in 12 lead, how could you ask me to get as wall high in the middle of the world? I'm going to you have anterior wall ischemia, posterior wall ischemia, you can have uh, inferior wall ischemia. So that's why. Uh, of course, in the electrocardiogram, P wave is a, Activation of the atria or this upper chamber of the heart. QRS is depolarization or activation of the ventricle. And the T wave is repolarization or relaxation or electric relaxation of the ventricle. So in P, QRS, T wave, Manish is activation of atria, ventricle. Manish among myocardial ischemia. The heart attack in other it and the enjoyment involved me can is the repolarization or relaxation. But now, in this ST segment and T wave start to become abnormal. How? If you have just ischemia or angina, you will have this T wave inversion. You see how T wave is upright; it becomes inverted. That is just ischemia. When you have full thickness heart attack, you will have this ST elevation. Let's go back. You see how here, how this ST segment is isoelectric. Sorry, Joshua. In that condition, you have ST elevation. Nirabala, in Marizieke, needs to go to cath lab, my own coronary artery, open beshe. We call it door to balloon, one hour or actually chest pain to balloon. As a matter of chest pain there. So when you get to cat lab, you can get a balloon on coronary artery to get a balloon. You can ideally get a balloon to get a balloon. If you get a balloon, you will lose muscle. And in um, ST depression, uh, with, with, with uh, subendocardial or partial thickness injury. Dr. Matarabe, we can management better. Voila. As I, to a so bad man, my goal was. Management in terms of the statins, aspirin, uh, angiogram, uh, marizi. I'm a goal of man, in Bishtar was a diagnostic approach, okay. uh, differential diagnosis. In Jaharkudum as in Aro, 
از تریتمنت و تراپی به عنوان مثلا فارماکولوژیک تراپی اسپرین استاتین نایتروگلیسرین بیتا بلاکر چیکار میکنین ورسس انجیو اون خودش از ان اور تو اور تا بیشتر از یو کن سی من راجب دیفرنت شو کردم و حالا منیجمنت رو میتونیم بعدا یه تاک دیگه است به به ایشالله پس دعوت شدیم حالا این سلاید رو نگاه کنید راجب اون چی به این ورژن گفتیم 22 year old black Jamaican young woman میاد به امرجنسی روم با انگزایتی and chest pain منطقه chest wallش tender و ایکیجیش این رو داره این lead V1 to V3 inverted T wave So what is this? 22 year old, classic T-wave inversion. In just a show, I mean, in Korea, Pesachki, Chagat, Sacht, Tashang, and in this case, I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin. Is there really art? Persistent juvenile T-wave syndrome. Ma, hamamun dar kudaki va dar adolescent. اون تی ویب این ورژن 2V1, 2V3 رو دارید به خاطر اوورلودی که رایت ونتریکل تو چالد هود و بعد از اینکه به دنیا میان دارید و اینا در خانوم های افرو کریبین ومن اینا بلک ویمن فرام کریبین اوریجن مثل جمایکا، هایتی، ترینیدار، توباگو اینا دی کامنلی دی هف دیس پرسیستنت تی ویب They are young female, they come with anxiety, some chest pain, and man, they have angiogram. The key is that this T wave is asymmetric. You see, it's not symmetric. This limb is different from that limb. Barobarin in is a normal variant. In Hanum Roshamaz emergency room, reassure us, we can eat, we give it in the channel of Hassan Hibrikesh, we first finish Hune. She will not go to Kathla. اما یه از کلاسیک very concerning EKG so that's a persistent juvenile T-wave syndrome ما برای دایگنوسیس مایکاردیال انفاکشن we use cardiac enzymes a specific troponin which has ما we have three different troponin troponin C which is common in all muscles troponin I and troponin T which for the heart is cardiac specific. But you want to check on it, but until release today is a sign of cell necrosis or cell death. I'm on journey to open it. Elevated cardiac troponin in the absence of coronary artery disease. I'm going to tell you that you are making the diagnosis. I'm going to tell you that Pete Fala EKG. You are going to tell me that chest pain, troponin is 40. I'm going to tell you that's a myocardial infarction. No, critically ill with diabetes, respiratory failure, sepsis, stroke, subarachnoid hemorrhage, pulmonary embolism, pulmonary hypertension, renal failure, kidney failure, aortic valve disease, aortic dissection, myocarditis, rhabdomyolysis, extreme burn, extreme exertion, like Shenoy has our consent as Olympic. Yeah, on Shenoy, get through for English volume. Because they have a little bit of troponin leak, not necessarily troponin cell death, but troponin leak. Cardiac contusion, of course, arrhythmia and congestive heart failure. So as you can see, it's not that simple that you didn't EKG, you didn't a troponin, and you have a diagnosis. Is a that's why man vaktichep began in smart medicine or whatever intelligence in computer or computer niot. Man, I don't believe you need a smart physician, a brain physician, but I can computer. I mean, I don't know if you have a heart attack, but I'm not using that. I don't think ever need a smart clinician. I'm not sure. 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 I wanted to make a point that how thinking. Mary is a 25-year-old history of myocarditis, she had a heart transplant, she had a lung comes with chest pain. 
in IR, it's myocardial ischemia. You remember, when they transplant the heart, they don't transplant all the nerves. So transplanted heart, unnociceptive uh, nerve heart, or un, un nerve high dart or another. But about in coronary artery disease in transplanted heart, usually does not present the chest pain. They present the shortness of breath, shock. And usually, back to get see transplanted heart or have a chest pain, the red, coronary artery disease is at the bottom of my diagnosis. I think about others. So they don't get nerve transplanted. So just think about that. But to pain uh, develop a substernal chest pain. I'm a chest pain and he continued to walk. After three to four minutes, chest pain has been mirava, he can walk 20 minutes. Family physician chun. Shama, you continue to walk. Va in pain, aval ijat shede when you walk. I'm meeting with Mr. Robbery. In uh, is not a coronary artery disease, but in coronary artery disease, like Shama Robbery, what that is, Mr. Rishi. Do you agree with that? Again, you agree just that's not very important. Physicians, it's very very interesting actually. This is an entity that one to a fellowship with them in Avalin article is published. It's called Walk Through Angina. It's a well established phenomenon that you can have chest pain at the early stage of exercise. But if you continue to exercise with physical activity, the pain disappears. Still, it's angina. Still, is angina. It's called Walk Through Angina. What is the cellular mechanism to that? Adaptation to ischemia, coronary vasodilatation, collateral blood flow, and cellular conditioning to ischemia. And even myocardial cell, Dr. Nawab Parashun In our myocardial cell, number of mitochondria should come to it. If you have a cell, for example, 2,000 mitochondria, we say, oh, oxygen doesn't have coffee. We say, oh, we're going to have 1,000. These are the conditioning to ischemia. Ama un entity, kaida shoma robbery dardet, aval dardet robbery dardet hupshe does not rule out angina. Walk through angina. Yek khanumu siyudu sale, collagen vascular disease has a systemic sclerosis, scleroderma. Yek is an autoimmune collagen vascular, man mitur, potchama kibish tatozi vedam, ba immunology, they have, they have predisposition to uh, activation of fibroblast from esophagus, high blood pressure, they, and pusta suratishon, sclerotic mission. And she comes with severe substernal chest pain after drinking cold water. Va in severe spasmic pain or sublingual nitroglycerin has been needed. What is the diagnosis? Cold water, systemic sclerosis. The first thing that you should think is esophagus. This is an esophageal spasm. Yes. Esophageal spasm, actually, because it's a smooth muscle, exactly nitroglycerin, what nitroglycerin does on the coronary arteries, does on the esophagus. not sublingual nitroglycerin, but that has been needed. So that's not necessarily myocardial ischemia or. I'm a, I said first diagnosis in mind is a vagal spasm, hiatal hernia, esophagitis, and even esophagus, right? Well, yeah, doctor, Ibein Maris, the hypertension, beta blocker, which is a blocker of sympathetic, metoprolol. But in Maris, Mikas, Vatican, beta blocker, or in pain, a man is more severe and frequent. آیا هنوز شما فکر میکنید که سیست از آفر بود؟ نو نو هفت تو فکر باید ادر انتیتی بای دو وی دی دید کوروری آردری انجیوگرام و کوروری آردری از کمپلیت کلین نو نو اتروسکلروسیس نو تسلوب شرایی نداره دایگنوسیس 
Actually, that's a board exam. That's a beautiful board exam. Khanum, what marriage is that? John? Marriage is that? Khanum, what? Khanum. This is. This is. Oh, by the way, during chest pain, bad as un obitum ichore. This is the EKG. ST elevation. Two minutes later, no ST elevation. Oh, in a minute, you know, hard attack, Moshe, hard attack. Two minutes after, clot has been I think all of you are thinking to what I want to say. This is a classic coronary artery spasm, which is very common again in female with connective tissue disease, scleroderma, you know, and one of the triggers of that is cold exposure. Cold exposure. Exactly like Raynaud phenomenon. Raynaud. Ainer Raynaud, which is the dastation of Mikonan Zero Abbasar. پوست دستشون اول چی میشه is a triad like three colors اول is a pallor then red میشه then blue so exactly the same problem happens with the cold drinking with coronary artery حالا sympathetic innervation actually بیتا sympathetic coronary artery رو open میکنه این مریض چون بیتا بلاکر گرفته بود اون رو هم دست داده بود اسپازمش بدتر شده بود. But every word that I put there has a diagnostic implication. وقتی دیگه مریض با بیتا بلاکر پیناش بیشتر شده then it's not as obvious. Or it's unlikely to be as obvious. You have to think about حالا جالب اینه که این خانوم اصلا ممکنه ممکنه reflux ازفاجیتیس reflux و حتی ازفاجیال اسپازم هم داشته بوده. But a GI, we do EGD, you know, prove I'm carried. Still, you should not stop there. Still, you have to think that I got some more years of vaginitis or some vaginal spasm. Maybe need. That is not should you stop there. You have to still talk. Oh, how is very in the rule out one, right? There are coexisting condition as a vaginitis or as a vaginal spasm, but it's very common. So, marizi ke koron spasm dare. هر روز بتونه هایتل هرنیا از افجایتیس از افجایتیس بازم هم داشته باشه. So this is a chronic, this is coronary spasm angina, اسم دیگهش پرینز متال انجینا یا وریانت انجینا. این مریضا رو شما بهشون بیتا بلاکر نمیدید. کلسیم چنل بلاکر باید بگید. و نایتریت. این هاست اگزاکلی مثل ورپمیل و نایتریت که برای رینات فنامنان هم به اینا ما میگیم. Now, since we talk about coronary spasm, a 20-year-old college student spending spring break in Palm Springs with no previous history to stash with an emergency room in Palm Springs with severe chest pain, abnormal EKG finding, ST elevation, and cardiac enzyme troponin is positive. Systolic blood pressure 200, diastolic 110. No prior history. He's a college student in Palm Spring. is one of the fun places in Palm in Spring Break. Ecola, I mean Coachella, whatever. So no, um, this is a coronary spasm. I'm a why in this male 20 year old. Drug? Cocaine, exactly. You have to think about cocaine and amphetamine and coronary spasm due to that. They present with, again, college student or whatever, in a fun time, you know, that then you have a high. That's why in Marisa Beyond is the, so in Marisa, I got cocaine, the Shabashet, the Shabash, beta blocker, Nabat Bidi, Chon, Misha, unopposed, beta blockade. It has to be beta and alpha blocker. And you have a MSM, some few chromocytes, no bad management. So this was again another. Uh, so after angina, uh, there are other conditions that can cause from the heart, chest pain, acute heart failure, valvular heart disease, that's the mitral valve prolapse, and aortic stenosis, infectious conditions or inflammation, pericarditis, myocarditis, endocarditis. Precardial infusion and arrhythmia. So it's 
I just finished coronary artery disease. I think I have another 40 slides. So come um, up. Maybe we leave the other 40 for the next talk, if possible. Okay. Oh, her fish Austin. Okay. Yeah, okay. Man, I think I I I gave it away. I'm in with Maris, in Maris, uh, uh, 60, 62 year old present with sharp burning pain over the lateral aspect of the chest. But a reality Maris the show me there is two by two. And look and, and at this, chest is very tender to touch. Can he had a light touch? It's caused severe burning sensation, which in medical terminology we call paresthesia. Paresthesia, like skin is normal. 10 days ago, a patient had a fever and bronchitis. Is this coronary artery disease? No. Believe me, I have seen I have seen these people like this. They call cardiology to come and quickly like, evaluate diagnosis. And how do you confirm it? How do you confirm it? شما مریض میگین آقا میشه شما رو دو روز دیگه ببینم. و دو روز دیگه اینو میبینید. بین اون chest pain و classic vesicular pustular rash of herpes zoster there are like three to four days uh, fossil last. But along the way, diagnosis is easy. To one day, it's not bad. 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 It's skin condition uh, diagnosis. Man, I had a lot of slide about pericarditis, aortic dissection, uh, astrologist, esophageal, gallbladder, pancreatitis, virtual So we'll continue as, as I'll on that, but to move on by mid-August or September. Man, uh, just share it more than ever to the corner. Give me your much malash kuftam. Natural dams on Bayon. Was in much malut. Varnaham, Varnaham, Afham Suzat Hamzabo. Papa, Ketopshi Shobodin, Hedim Mamnon, Voran Olibu. Hamero cover cardi, Hamaro, but Baroy man, Dutta Masadech, Bozorgiro, Yanim Boskardin. قلب خانم ما با آقایون تفاوت داره. اگر ای که جی نورماله دازن می شیدازن هم کاردیک. به خصوص وقتی که جسته خانم کوچک باشه و همه کرایتری های دیگه. و مرسالتی خانم ها طور که من می خونم از هارتزیز بالا هست برای که تشخیصش داده نمی شه. و این خیلی مهمه و خیلی ممنون که کاورش کردیم. بعد هرپیس زاستر یکی دیگه هستش که خب اون الان اون روز دو سه روز کار نمیشه کرد ولی برای تمام دوستانی که واکسن شنگلشون رو نزدن please go and do it فقط پوست نیستش اگه تو صورت و چشم بره پدر در میاره and um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nasty disease but it's a nasty disease like a local, it can, you know, we own pustular lesion, you can have cellulitis. The worst is a post herpetic neuralgia. Is a to a trigeminal territory. Trigeminal. چیزیه که با دو تا آمپول الان این نو هرپیس واسطه که اومده یه سالیه این 99 درصد زونا رو کاور میکنه و واکسن اول ماه اول واکسن دوم ماه سومه تمام فارماسی ها کاور میکنن الان ایشورنس کامپلی ها کاور میکنن پلیز کسایی که 
هاشه پیش واسر نزدن یعنی همون زونا خواهش میکنم کانسیدر بکنین چون توی صورت بزنه من یه آشنایی رو میدونم خانم هشتاد و چند ساله که توی پرینلی اریاش زده بود و پدرشون در آمد اینقدر بد بود که بعد پیزشک رو بیارن خونه and uh, interesting enough این خانم دکترش کانسیج هم بست که it's like hello این دکتر ها کجا هم که به این مریض بگن که بابا این واکسن ها is a mandatory or it should be done و این کاردیک هارت پرابلم های خانم ها و اینطور که من شنیدم و دیدم ساختمونشون رو سیدر ساین ها یک ساختمون بزرگ درست کرده که باربا سرایسن خرج پولش رو داده راجع به وومن هارت دیزیز که they narrow it down چون with all respect to you من اولین دکتر کاردیالیزی هستی که میبینم که راجع به این صحبت کرد بقیه اسمز های خوب قرب مردم مثل زنه نیستش نیستش و این خیلی جالب بود دیگه حالا بعد میذارم دوستا سوال بکنن نوموتوراکس در لایرش تو ادالت اگه وقت کردین صحبت بکنین ولی الان میریم سر سوال بسیار عالی بود ممنون